We're going on YouTube, and today we'll be coming to Minecraft and doing a restaurant tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to build your very own combination bolt. Now, I built this design, I think it is, my remote just died, wonderful. I think this is a very cool design, and, um, yeah, um, yeah, I think it's a really cool design, and it works in the Minecraft world, so my combination lock is here, here, and here, and the door will open, and you can't lock it from the inside, whoops, you can't lock it from the inside if you just simply place down a lever here, I mean, not there, but here, and you lock that, and you can lock the door behind you, flick it back open when you want to come back out and just reset your combination lock now it will not work obviously if you do here here or here as you can see it will not open so you have to specifically have here here and here for it to open now this is just a customizable part if y'all want to have your own combination um, um, I'll get to that later on in the video. So let's just start out with building the combination lock itself. So what you're going to need is white clay, um, uh, levers, end rod, redstone torch, redstone repeater, and redstone itself, and an iron door. So first, what you're going to do, first what you're going to do is just build a five long stand. One, two, three, four, five. You know, want to come up on and make it look like it's a oval or a circle look, and then you're going to come up. Um. Then you're going to come up three more spaces. So one, two, three. Then you're just going to uh, go like that. Whoops. And just continue to look. You can customize it with your own concrete, but I think white looks more like a lock like a giant volt lock, you know what I'm saying? And then you're going to come down to the center of it, which is right here, and you're just going to place a block out and your end rods, just to give it that, like, twist knob sort of a look. And then you're just going to surround the rest of it, except the three block outer edge, with um, levers. And then you're going to come one behind here, the um, volt, and then you're just going to do three out. So one, two, three three just like so and then you're just going to fill in your wall that the iron door is on just like so once you have done that come to the other side of your wall and you're just going to place a repeater down at the door place a block diagonal to that repeater and place a redstone torch torch on it that should activate your iron door now here's where the customizable part comes in I am going to choose a combination right here, here, and here. Now, when you flick your levers down, you place on your redstone torches on the back. This is where the customizable part comes in. You can choose any combination lock in the world. So, I just chose my combination lock, so I'm just going to place one here. Is it here? Here? There, and somewhere up here. There it is. And so, this is my combination lock right here. Then, once you have done that, you're just going to place a redstone trail off the block that the redstone torch is on, and you're just going to make it go underneath the um, torches. When it's not underneath the torches, you're going to have it on um, a block, just like so. And just for my design, I'm going to have it like that. So, once you turn on these levers, that will activate your combination lock. So, here you have your combination lock fully built as you can see here now it won't work if I go here here or here it'll only work if I go here I think what I have to check it okay yeah no it only work if you go here and here too and then your combination door will open so how cool is that guys? I just thought it'd be nice for y'all to have like a combination lock just for, so y'all can um you know secure all your um, Minecraft stuff like your diamonds whatever you want whatever your heart desires to keep 
hidden from other players. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. There was a lot of chickens around here. What is up with the chickens? But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, make sure to leave a like, and I will make sure to bring more videos like this as often as I can. And make sure to keep tuned, and I'll definitely see y'all in the next video. Goodbye!